Good morning, Bridget. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. Good. Uh, first of all, I wanted to congratulate you on getting married last month. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it's been about one month. <laughs> <laughs> so how's married life? Uh, married life is great. Married life is, uh, is so much more than I expected. We, uh, our, our, our lives are expanding in every direction, so I feel very lucky, very blessed. All right. And, uh, well, tell me about your show that you're hosting, 72 Hours. Yeah. Um, well, the, the, the premise of 72 Hours is we're taking nine strangers, uh, and we keep them sequestered so they've never met. And then every show begins with um, an entry stunt, and they are catapulted into the wild. And once they land, they'll come find me, and then in that moment, I'll divide them into three teams of three, a red team, a blue team, and a green team. And then I'll provide them with a bottle of water, a GPS unit, and a two-way radio, which they can use to communicate with me. Then I'll explain the rules of the competition, which are very simple. Be the first team to put your hands on the briefcase and the money's yours, uh, and it's got $100,000 inside, but the catch is you got to go find it. And I clip it onto a helicopter, and off it goes. And in that moment, their 72-hour adventure begins. And uh, what comes next is pretty incredible. Um, a content like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Would you say the show's concept is similar to Survivor? Well, there's definitely the aspect of having to survive or endure the elements, but what's going to make 72 hours different from not only Survivor, but from a lot of the other reality competition shows out there is... 72 Hours is always going to have a brand new cast, and 72 Hours will always have uh, a new location every episode. So on some of these shows, they're either paired up and they already know each other, or they're in one location for a very long time, and the show itself, or the series itself, has a long arc. So if you don't like the competitors or the teams right out of the gate for these, some of these shows, you're not going to tune in. But 72 Hours is always going to give you something fresh and new every single time. And we went all over the world. We went to you know, Fiji, New Zealand, Tasmania, Hawaii, southern Rockies of the United States. Um, so there's, though the, the, the skeleton framework of the show is the same, the, the course is always different. And that's always going to create different senses of, or different moments of drama and, um, and different scenery, too. You know, we're also going to display these incredible, beautiful remote locations we're in. Now, uh, following the same concept of 72 hours, uh, hypothetically speaking, if you were stuck in the middle of nowhere, what two items would you bring with you? Well, I think that uh, if you were stuck in the middle of nowhere, if you had that opportunity to have some kind of filtration system for water, because you've got to have water. The human body can pretty, can, can pretty much survive without food for a while, but it's got to have water to some degree. So <clears throat> I would definitely bring purifying tablets if you have the opportunity. Um, and also, uh, you probably, even something as simple as shoelaces are great because shoelaces can be used, you can tie it around a twig and you can crank it back and forth and that can actually create fire. You can also use shoelaces to climb up trees and to get a, a better lookout as to kind of the lay of the land and where you're going. Uh, those two elements would be fantastic and extremely helpful. Um, and maybe if I could tack on one more, you know, just a shirt or a bandana. They can, not only can you uh, carry stuff in it, but it can provide shelter from, or it can provide protection from the sun and the elements. And uh, sh a shirt or bandana can also kind of work as a filtration system when it does come time to, to uh, get water, fresh water. Now, I know you have uh, hosted a lot of TV shows. Mm -hmm. uh, is hosting something you're more comfortable with, or you, do you prefer acting? Well, my heart is always going to be probably in acting. Um, I got a comprehensive, I was a comprehensive theater major in school and, and my experience began on a stage and then it led to television and film. Um, but the, the hosting thing, what, what is really interesting is um, I've been able to do a lot of different things from infotainment shows to automotive shows to you know, outdoor renovation type shows and then this show. And having an acting background allows me to sort of morph into whatever the content calls for. Um, hosting is really about bringing a sense of enthusiasm and your own personality to the table. Um, but for a show like 72 Hours, this show spoke to every aspect of my being that I, that I really um, love about life, and that is the sense of adventure. And I always say, if you're not living on the edge, <clears throat> you're not close enough, right? So I, I really just want to squeeze the, uh, the lemon of life and get out there and experience it all. I love to travel. I've kind of always been a gypsy at heart as well. 
And I'm fascinated with what makes people tick. And this show is really going to rip off the, the masks that people wear every day. We're going to get them away from cell phones and laptops and social media. And we're going to get them back to basics, back to where it all began in the wild. And, and some really interesting primor primordial moments will kind of come to fruition uh, out, in the, out in the field there. And it's going to, it, it does, it, it created inc an incredible show. It's real reality. Is it also true that you'll be reprising your role as Gary Wilde for season three of Shake It Up? Well, I did. We, we did finish season three, and uh, I did kick off the show, uh, the, the premiere of the first episode, and then I'm going to be coming back for the, uh, the last two episodes that haven't aired yet. But um, as far as a season four, we have not heard, uh, heard word yet. So I know that Zendaya obviously just finished up doing Dancing with the Stars, and Bella right now is in South Africa working uh, on a new Adam Sandler film. So all of the kids are out doing different things for the summer, and I'm just sort of sitting by, and I've been shaking this champagne bottle for over a year called 72 Hours, waiting to pop the cork on it, and we're going to do that tomorrow night. And uh, we'll see where that adventure leads me uh, for the next couple months. So we'll see. All right. We look forward to uh, seeing the show tomorrow. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Bridget. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.